The thing I'm doing here is to always still put pressure on him because he feels like I'm very, very close to him all the time. He makes a rush decision. And the outcome of this then is that he is running out with the ball. I'm getting a throw in and, and I can start my attack from there. What's going on everyone? Olelito here. I'm a professional FIFA player for Ninjas in Pajamas. And today I will be showing you a massive class, how to defend in FIFA 22. In this massive class, I will be showing you first of all, how to play switch, how to pressure play, and how to use your center backs in the best kind of way. So you see here, I have the build up play. First of all, with my CM, a pretty sloppy pass from me there. But the thing I do here, play switching to my center back very, very quickly. And he's able to get the ball and starting the attack. Let's break it down then. First of all, I have the ball with my CM here. The thing is that I play a very, very sloppy pass here, trying to reach my other CM. The thing though here though, is that the R1 pass in FIFA 22 is super, super, super effective. And why? Because the accuracy of the pass is very, very good. So the thing I want to do here, first of all, is to bumper switch to the closest player in this case, that's closest to, to the striker making a running behind, which is my center back. So I'm switching to my center back here, as you see, and from now on, I'm in front of the ball. So most likely I will get it, which happens. And after that, I can start my attack and hopefully score a goal. Here's another example of how to play a switch in FIFA 22. So the main thing here is that I see that he has a very, very good run with his striker coming in behind. So the thing I want to do here, first of all, is to try to play switch to my center back. Then, as you see, uh, on the other center back, it's like a green arrow on top of him. That means that I'm trying to put pressure on the ball holder using the second man press by pressing down R1 on your controller, which causes my opponent to make a very, very quick decision, which he makes and I'm standing in front of him with, with my center back and after that I'm getting the ball and I can start to build up an attack and hopefully score a good goal. The second topic I want to talk about today is where to press and I can tell you for a fact that this will improve your defense in FIFA 22. So my opponent has the ball with his winger first of all and I see that he doesn't have a lot of space and any options so I'm just trying to get close to him, tackle him in the end of the day and trying to start my attack from there. Let's break it down then. We see here, first of all, that his winger has a lot of space here. The thing he can do, which can be very, very dangerous, is, is to go on my inside here with his winger. Um, and the inside here could be a very, very dangerous area because then he can cut it back to his strikers with the R1 pass, which is super effective this year. Um, or the thing I, I'm letting him do also is to recycle it because then I have all my players still back. They are in the position that I want them to be in. So the thing I'm doing here, first of all, is that you're seeing that I'm baiting him into making the skill move um, into the box here with his winger. So the thing he does here then, instead of, of doing the skill move into the box, I'm baiting him and he does the skill move right in towards me. I'm reading that skill move, getting the ball out of play and then starting the, the attack all over again and try to score my third in this game. So here's another clip of me actually knowing where to press on the pitch. So as you see here, I'm brave enough here to be able to control my center back and trying to put pressure on his winger. And I'm actually, at the same time as I'm putting pressure on his winger here, as you see in this clip, I'm also cutting off the passing lane to his winger that making a run in behind. So the thing I'm doing here is to always still put pressure on him because he feels like I'm very, very close to him all the time. He makes a rush decision. And the outcome of this then is that he is running out with the ball. I'm getting a throw in and, and I can start my attack from there. But it's also a very, very important point here is to be brave but to not be overconfident because you shouldn't push your players out of position all the time, but sometimes you need to switch it up a bit. Sometimes push out a player, sometimes just let it be and um, try to run back with your players. The third topic of today is how to use the center backs. And I think it's a very, very hard thing in this FIFA to do, but it's all about putting them in the right position at the right time. Try to block passes, block shots, and try to prevent your opponent from getting a dangerous counter-attack. My opponent moves up the pitch here. The thing I do with my center back is to put pressure on him. I'm getting a very, very good turnover here, which turns into a counter-attack that was going to be dangerous. Okay, let's break it down then. First of all, I see that he is starting a very dangerous counter-attack. So he gets the ball into his striker. 
The thing that, that is going on in my head here is I need to put pressure on the ball holder. So the, th the thing I'm doing first of all is to put the R1 pressure with your R1 bumper on your controller with my right center back here, which allows him to basically don't have any passing options here. As you see, the only thing he can do is to go forward. But at the same time here, I see that he has tried to do the play lock option, which you do by pressing down your L3 and R3 at the same time. So I'm switching to my left center back here to be able to cover the space in behind, which can be very, very dangerous because we know these through balls in this game are, are uh, effective. So I'm switching to my center back, but at the same time, trying to put pressure on the ball holder, which then results in me getting the ball and starting a good attack. In this clip, we basically have had an attack. And as we see, we have a lot of people going forward, but I see that he is pressing down L1 and moving the right stick towards the striker to be able to make a run in behind. So the thing I'm doing here is that I'm selecting my center mid because as we see here in this scenario, I can put pressure on him. I'm, I'm quite close, but I need to be closer to be able to win the ball. The thing I'm doing is to try to chase him here, but unfortunately I don't succeed. But here, what do I need to do here with my center backs? Because how should I use them in this position? The thing I need to do here, first of all, is to switch to my left center back, which I'm doing quite early, I would say. And we know for a fact that this L1 or one triangle pass on this game is super effective. Um, so the thing he tries to do here is the L1 or one triangle. But the thing we need to do is to cover the space in behind very early so he doesn't get through on goal and get into a 1v1 um, selection with my goalkeeper. So we are tracking the run, we're getting the ball, and we can start to build an attack once again. So guys, this has been Ulelite for you all. Uh, thank you so much for watching this masterclass. And hopefully, by watching this video, you will try to learn how to concede less goals in FIFA and win more games. See you on the pitch.